Good morning and welcome. So what is travel going to look like after the COVID-19 pandemic? I thought we could take a little bit of time here today and discuss one, um, one thing that's being done that hopefully will make us feel a little bit safer. Hi, this is Arnie Jacobson TV and here we talk travel. We talk cameras, we talk accessories. If you're into any of that kind of thing, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button down below, click the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we put up new information, and check the show notes for even more information. So yeah, travel after um, the pandemic or during the pandemic, you know, depending on how long this lasts, is certainly going to be different. And one organization has made the effort to come up with a way to make us feel more like getting out there. The um, World Travel and Tourism Council decided that something needed to be done. There needed to be some kind of centralized Mm, protocols, requirements, what have you, to, you know, make us feel more like getting back out there. And so what they have done is they've adopted a new set of global hygiene and safety protocols for the travel industry as a whole to, um, to follow. And they didn't just do this on their own. They did it with um, a group of companies that, uh, you know, that travel companies like Airbnb, Emirates, um, Expedia, Marriott Hotels, they all kind of got together and, and brought this, their ideas so that it would fit with the, the industry and it'd be, maybe be more likely to be adopted. Um, so, uh, it's going to be different, obviously, and with these protocols, they're, that should make things more comfortable for us. So, what has the WTTC done? Uh, it has set up a standardized, safe, um, travel by developing new, new global standards and a stamp, <laughs> a stamp that uh, will help us to recognize businesses and destinations that are following those best practices. Obviously, um, there is gonna be something colorful. It's a big green, well, you can see it. It's right on the screen in front of you. So I don't need to describe it. Hopefully, this will uh, give us a little peace of mind. Now, I am not going to go through every little detail for all of the, the protocols that they're asking companies to sign on to. I don't think you want to hear me rattle those off. I will leave a link in the description so that you can check it out yourself and see what it is that their um, protocols are requiring. And I don't know about you, but that makes me feel a little bit better. Um, not that those of us in the U.S. are probably going to be able to travel anytime soon, given the way things are going. Um, the whole uh, coronavirus is taking off again here in many places. So and Europe is now deciding not to allow travelers from the U.S. to come into Europe because we're not doing enough, so it could be a while, but at least there's this, and as I say, at least for me, it makes me feel just a little bit better about where things are going in the future. Hopefully, it's making you feel a little bit better, too. Leave a comment down below if you, you know, what are, you, what are your thoughts about travel in the near future? 
in the not so near future. I, frankly, I, I can't see my wife and I going anywhere at, at least until fall of 2021 and who knows even then. Um, so it could be a while, which is really a depressing <laughs> thing to say. All right, hey, that's it for today. Thanks so much for stopping by. We do appreciate it. Make sure you click that uh, like button, subscribe, share with others who might be interested in this. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.